What's up, North County? Welcome to the Morning Brew. Glad to be here. Tuesday morning, it's sunny, and there's no rain. I'm super excited about it. There is no rain. And as always, my guest, Eric Simmons. Good morning, North County. How are we doing today? No, really, he's not a guest. He pretty much does everything. It's just not. I'm not going to lie. I, I do very little to the pr production of this uh, show, so other than this. This is pretty much me, right? Ah, you add a lot, dude. Yeah. You come in every morning, you say hi. <laughs> I come in you know? every morning. I come in every morning and I say hi. Hi. Hi, how are we all doing hey, today? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> how are you doing this morning, Randy? Dude, I'm doing better. It sounds like you're doing a hell of a lot better. Oh, man. Gatorade does wonders for a body. Yeah, I, I, I checked in yesterday and, and people said that you, it seemed like that you were like a mummy. That you were just kind of a puppet back there and you weren't really functioning. Dude, I was functioning, but barely. <clears throat> what do you, what do you, now show me behind you again. What do you got back there? I got the sign. Oh, I hung a shirt up, I guess. Yeah, we yeah. got the new What's Up North County shirt yeah. right there. That's the dry fit for summertime, getting yeah. all sweaty. That's right. So that's a good place for it. Hell yeah. Awesome. What else is new, man? What'd you do last night? Anything fun uh, exciting? You know, you know what? Um, what did I do last night? Um, I enjoyed the day. The day was awesome. I was bummed to be inside all day long. Yeah. Um, Coach, uh, Coach Keith, Keith Swank, hopefully he got a uh, announcer. He asked me to, asked us to yeah. uh, announce the game, um, which would have been fun. Right. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, I just, I think I, I didn't do, didn't do much of anything. I didn't even eat yesterday. What? I know. You got to eat, man. I know. You know what? I had a protein shake um, in the morning time, and that was pretty much it. Right. You got, guys, you got to really eat. You got you to gotta eat. You got to eat, man. You, you know, eat. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty important to eat. Um, you know, and for, but first, Eric, we got to, we got to, um, you know, uh, we got to put our prayers out to the kids and the, and the families back in, in Tennessee yeah. on that shooting at the school. Yeah. So that was a, that was a terrible act of violence. And um, so prayers and thoughts are with their families because right. that's, that's pretty crazy. That was sad. So, was, um, and I think our, our, uh, our own Mike uh, Brady is back in that direction as well. Yeah, he's in Nashville right so now. So he's back there um, in that stomping ground. So anyways... Um, but yeah, so it looks like there was some su success in the in the North County yesterday. Okay. For some uh, for some sports. Right. Um, over the weekend, there was some su success. Uh, looks like uh, a young man, Lane Miller. Lane Miller, yeah. Okay. Lane Miller um, took home the championship in steer wrestling. Nice. So um, we got to go to those. We should. I Where was it at? I don't know. That's that's the bad thing. Is we gotta we gotta get with Lori Javadi and so that way she can instruct us and tell us where all these events are because I know she follows that pretty well. Okay. So, um, but yeah, but I do want to give a shout out and I don't know if, if we if uh, I did or not, but I'm gonna do it again. Is that Pass Robles Brewing has an awesome Wagyu burger. Oh, okay. Right there at the what Second Street or something like that on Spring. Right. The burgers were awesome. They were huge. And they were delicious. Wow. So uh, right there, Pass Robles Brewing Company, and they have some really cool um, decor inside, old school, you know, prohibition type stuff. Um, but it was pretty cool. That's nice. Did, so, you, did you have a beer? Did you end up having a beer? No beers, no? man. No beer? No beers. Okay, just a burger. Nope. You I know what? Iced tea? No, nope, just, just water. Just water, okay. Yep, Ryan got carded. You got carded? <laughs> right when he sat down. Is Ryan, is he 21? <laughs> no. Uh-huh. Right when he sat down, they carded him. They're like, hey, can I see your ID? And he's like, uh, for a burger? <laughs> oh, they wouldn't let him sit at the bar. No, we were at the bar, actually. It was funny. Oh, okay. I don't even know why they carded him. But anyways, maybe they thought he just looked like a drinker. Oh, okay. He just looked like a boozer coming walking in, which a lot of my kids do. My, a lot of my kids look like boozers. Because Ryan looks like he's ready to party, like, all the time. Yeah, he or or fall asleep. Fall asleep, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what about you? How'd uh, how'd the baseball go? Good, man. We just had baseball practice and uh, you know came home, had some dinner, and went to bed. So tell me about the the baseball. Is that majors or minors? What's he in? He's in majors. He's in majors. So yeah. that's in Atascadero, then, right? No, that's still here in Templeton. I thought Templeton didn't have the the majors. No. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. What is it? Minors, minors, majors. Then what? Uh, I don't know. College? 
College. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Straight so, to college. So I think so he might be in the minors. Right. So, um, but uh, is he playing games yet? The game's playing yet? Yeah, they won their first game. Uh, they won their first game nine to one, or the second game. I'm sorry, their second game nine to one, and uh, yeah, they're doing pretty good, man. It's a lot of fun. So I don't know if um, I'm looking on my on my net here. I'd like to get an update if Teresa, if you were on uh, watching, I'd like to know what ha- what Templeton did last night. So Templeton had one of their 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 makeup games. Right. Right. And so I think they're going to be playing makeup games for the next uh, two weeks, and then they'll play their regular games. And they got they're they're kind of all monkeyed up to different things, but. Right. Um, but yeah, I'd be curious to know if they if they won. I think Templeton won last night in, in baseball. Okay. So um, that's a lot of fun to go watch their games. Those I, guys actually play, play pretty pretty well. It's, it's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, it's well any of the sports. I mean, like I said, we went and watched the Templeton basketball games. You know, CIF. That uh-huh. was pretty cool. Oh, that's exciting! As all get out. Yeah. That, uh, Teresa says girls lost eleven to eight. Oh, dang it! So. Bummer. Well, that's okay. Yeah. There's always uh, the next game, but um, but yeah, it kind of humbles them a little bit because yeah. I think they're they're doing really really well, but um, but like I said, you know, all that matters is league and and uh, and CIF. Right. So, um, but good job. That's still a, that's still a good battle. Go out there, play hard. Yeah. Teresa says was a back and forth scoring game, so I guess it was pretty exciting to watch. I'm sure. I guess I should have went and announced the game. You should have. I know. And I think they're going to try. They're, well, I don't know if they are going to play tonight because the rain's supposed to come in. Right. Let's, let's go to weather real quick. Yeah, let's, we che- do that. let's check out weather. Let's Our it. weather is so today 58, 58 rain, tomorrow 52 rain, and then we kind of go into partly cloudy. Uh, Saturday looks to be a lake day at 66 degrees. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, and always just know that when you're out there at the lake, it's actually hotter than that. But um, this is kind of, I think, San Luis weather. But uh, so then we go back to cloudy. And is, is that projecting rain after Tuesday? Uh, I'm not sure. It looks like uh, we're going back down, though. It looks like the clouds are coming back in. I think we have, I think if, if I remember right, we have two more storms coming our way. So two more of those, uh, um, you know. Rivers, at- atmospheric rivers are coming our way. Yes, atmospheric rivers. Well, so it turns out that this um, storm that's hitting today yeah. is supposed to be bringing thunder and um, possibly lightning. Yeah, they said that last time though, didn't they? No, no? they didn't. No, they didn't say thunder. They said that this one um, could be bringing a lot of thunder, which I like thunder. I think thunder's cool. Kind of scares me a little bit, but I still like thunder and lightning when I'm inside. Yeah. Not when you're camping. Hey, uh, so we got to plug the, uh, you know, the empty bowls. Yep. Want to do that real quick? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, so um, the annual Echo, uh, Echo Empty Bowls is coming to Paso and Atascadero. Um, the anticipated Empty Bowls fundraiser benefiting the El Camino homeless organization, Echo, is bringing the event to Paso Robles and Atascadero for the first time. So Thursday, April 20th, the Atascadero Bible Church um the in-person luncheon is back enjoy uh delectable soups and artesian bread and take home handmade ceramic bowls as your souvenir enjoy music while you visit the community members and the supporters of echo celebrity servers (laughs) celebrity servers will reprise their role to serve you and i get to be a celebrity Server. You are a celebrity. How, how fun is that going to be? Dude, I swear to God, $50 gets you a long way. <laughs> I, I think it's about $49.50 <laughs> I spent to get you on that on, this, on celebrities. So I guess, uh, so it's going to be me, Tim McGraw, <laughs> um, uh, Sheriff Ian Parkinson, Josh Brolin, and... Taylor Sheridan. And who? Taylor Sheridan. Taylor Sheridan, um, and and Ozzy Osbourne, but he he'll, he'll be uh, and Ozzy and Ozzy Osbourne, yeah, is going to be the celebrity uh, servers. So yeah. that's going to be cool. That's going to be a lot of fun, man. It's five hundred <laughs> people. So um, if you guys get out there, it's it's going to be a great event. It's going to be for a good cause, and there's going to be a lot of great community community members out there. So please go. And, yes, and and you know. Do so, your thing. So that's the luncheon on the 20th, and then 
On the 27th is in Paso at the studios on the park. That one's more of an evening um, event. So enjoy the evening uh, soup tasting, curated wine. Oh, they're going to have wine. Um, and then, of course, the art. And then with live music from 5 to 7. Uh, $100 per person. And you can go to events.idonate.com or probably just go to um, the Echo website. Yes. And also reserve your tickets. Yes. So so that'll be fun. It's going to be fun. What are you going to wear? You have your, <laughs> you have your, uh, your get up ready? You I don't gonna... know. Should I get like a special What's Up North County uh, I think you shirt? Need to get a What's Up North County cowboy hat. That's going to be the deal. We need to get you a big old, like just how the silver one is right there. <laughs> yeah. Maybe wear the silver one. I don't know. Will that work? Nope. No? Oh, okay. Can't wear that one. All right. I was going to say, that would be pretty cool, so... But yeah, it will. It will be. Uh, we could do some fun stuff, though. Right. So, are you guys gonna? Is is your wife gonna go? I think we're all gonna go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take Wyatt and, and Michelle, and we're all gonna roll down there. Very cool. And then uh, I'm gonna heckle you the whole time. Cool. Um, and I, you can also do donations for me to, um, you know, like bring you drinks and that kind of stuff too. You don't even drink, so it'd be cheap for me. I'll do that all night long. No, no, for, not for me. For you. Oh, for me. Oh, so yes. like you know, you're like, oh, hey, here, go get me a soda water. <laughs> and then here's a tip. So all that's going to go probably to the the general fundraising fund. Right, right. So all right, but uh, hey, we got some more news too. You want to talk about? Uh, let's talk about a little bit of a Tascadero. Uh, they got that CEO program going right now. Yeah. Um, so, so what's that all about? Well, this that's actually a pretty cool program that um, is basically helping kids to. Um, you know, start their own business. Right. And so it's a, per, it's a, it's a program that they did and um, have been doing for the last, I think they started this in January. Right. Um, but, uh, but what the, the purpose of it is there's 56 kids that are participating in this event. And this coming Saturday will be um, the businesses will be out. And I think, um, I think it's the Adobe Plaza. But they'll be out there basically pitching their business ideas. Right. So, um, which is a cool, which is really, really cool program. And I think Brett Butterfield, um, which is the owner of the Ravine Water Park, he's also doing all the fair concessions and stuff like that, is also helping with this with this uh, program with the Tascadero, uh, I believe, Tascadero Chamber. I think it's a good idea. So, um, let's see. Let me read about this. It's... Um, Let's see, they have, like I said, they had 56. So this is the inaugural junior CEO program program coordinated by the Tascadero Chamber of Com Commerce. Well, cumulative, uh, cumulative with junior CEO business of the day on Saturday, April 1st. The event showcasing junior CEO participants selling their products will occur next to La Plaza in downtown Atascadero from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The community is invited to attend and support the small businesses. You know, 56 kids partic participated in the program uh, provides a unique educational opportunity for elementary to junior high students by offering five virtual work workshops focused on entrepreneurial skills. Sessions include fundamentals for setting up your business, cost models, safety, food prep preparations, marketing, and customer service and saving the amount, saving and money management. How cool is that? Hey, I think that's great for our uh, for our youth. That's gonna teach them a lot of things, you know. So. But you know, I mean, nowadays kids are so much smarter and and savvy to these kind of things than we were. Right. You know, um, I mean, let's see at what would they say at seventh, sixth grade, to junior high, yeah, six, uh, sixth grade to junior elementary to junior high. I mean. Elementary and junior high, I, the last thing I was thinking about was starting a business. Right. And these kids are 56 kids, mind you, is here doing that. So hats off to you guys. I would love to go down there and check that out. So that's Saturday from 11 to 2 p.m. in the La Plaza uh, downtown Tascadero. So, hey, I think we should probably get one of those kids to come in here and be a co-host. What do you think? Like Absolutely. Like a little, a little mini mic coming in here and uh, 
they could learn how to do the uh, production side of what's up North County. You know, what's funny is we probably could. Yeah. I, I bet there's some kids that are actually back there in production or and or in media. Yeah. That uh, that's doing that stuff, and you know they're all doing that TikTok stuff. Well, we should probably talk to them. Maybe get a hold of them and see if they would want to have somebody come in here and and do like an internship. Yeah, that would be cool. Maybe we can get, like I said, get some of these kids on here, um, reach out to the Atascado Chamber, so see about getting them on this this show. Right. So hey, so uh, Atascadero's got a lot of stuff going on. I mean, they have a ton of stuff. I just looked at their calendar, and let's put this up here real quick. And uh, from May 17th to, I mean, basically at the end of the year, I'm sorry, May, um, not May, I'm sorry, uh, March 29th to the end of the year, they have a ton of stuff going on, man. So they got Tascado Farmer's Market, the Spring Festival, which is going to be fun to go to. I mean, they got a ton of stuff on here. So if you go to do a, a visit at Tascadero.com, you can go on here and check out all these cool events that they have going on. And it's it's jam-packed that's good to see that their calendar is filled with stuff that's happening here yeah there's a lot of those calendars that you see and it's not even like in the north county right it's like uh oceano yeah so uh but uh, yeah tascadero they have their first friday next sat next friday which they're going to have live music and then i believe this weekend is also the the zoo stuff which we'll have to um get more information about that and um bring it out tomorrow right so uh but like i said never nevertheless this saturday in tascadero is the junior ceo and just really cool stuff downtown has uh, have you have you been to the new rooftop down there no i have not so you gotta check it out we gotta check that out too because that's gonna be cool for cruise night i would imagine oh uh, sit up on the roof have yeah. some cocktails and watch the cars go by i wonder if, if the cruise night things are still going on Maybe. They used to have cruising, cruise nights on Friday in Atascadero, Pass Robles, Templeton, um, San Miguel, or no, I'm sorry, Santa Margarita, and then if there was a if there was a fifth Friday, they would be doing it in San Miguel. Oh, okay. So that was during the whole COVID nightmare, but I think they I think they completed that. Right. So um but let's give a little couple shout outs to our sponsors. Yeah, let's do that. So we've got um, Clint, Clint Amy with Rancho Sestero Meat Cutting. Right. Which obviously, you know, uh, brings me to the question. People were buying meat from a... Uh, a back from, of a rider truck? <laughs> from the back <laughs> of a U-Haul <laughs> on, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in the parking lot at... Uh, uh, Far, uh, farm supply. No, tractor, tractor supply and past oh, robles. Supply, I'm sorry. Right in front of the grocery outlet, a locally managed uh, business. Um, but they're buying meat from the back of a U-Haul. That's that sounds delicious. That is, just, I was I was blown away with that. That's crazy. And you know, it is funny because we just went down to um, to Rancho Sestero, and we got the opportunity to you know cut up that steer. Uh huh. And the amount of, of meat that they were thrown away because of their, it was trash or it didn't meet their quality standards. Right. How much do you think that crap that they're throwing away is in those boxes that people were buying on Saturday? I think you're probably right there, but I think you're right yesterday. I think it's all like, it's like older, you know, steers or something like that, that have been just, you know, like 10, 12 years old and they just had to get rid of them. And now they're, you know, super cheap. Doesn't make any sense. So that's no. definitely not on our, um, our buy local, support local uh, platform. Are we going to have to get our detective hats on and go down there and investigate this whole thing? Or? No, they're off no? to the next uh, the next city in town. <laughs> like gypsies. <laughs> like yeah. My, like my family. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so um, Rancho Sestero meat cutting. Um, and then they also, like I said, their, their beef actually is coming through um, Cami, which is Tanner Dye's uh, beef cattle that are locally sourced and locally raised yes so that's also cool too um support then, local please support yeah local. always support local yeah. guys it drives me crazy i mean i know you can't all the time no you know what i'm saying but at least give your local people some a shot at it yeah. you know what i'm saying i mean that's that's all you can ask you know if they can't if they're just like astronomically you know different between you know pricing or you know just be like hey you know but you know, at least give them a shot. Just don't go straight to Amazon or you know these other junk holes. So, um, 
Uh, what else we got? We got El Red Rooster Taco Truck, which is downtown Templeton. Yes. I keep uh, somebody keeps posting the address. I don't even know the address, but it's it's right across from the temp. The, the, there's a gas station right in the middle of town. Yes. Okay. If you stand uh, f- uh, facing away from the gas station, it's to your left. Just go to the museum. Yeah. Hit up hit up the museum. <clears throat> He's right right next door to the museum. Go back there. Get yourself some tacos, burritos. Uh, he's got a specialty item called what's it called a witch not a witch may call it Tor- uh, torta a torta he's got a torta he's got a thing called the chingadero the which, chingadero hey I gotta say a chingadero is really good like after you've been drinking all night and you go over there and order a chingadero it's it's pretty delicious what about uh, any chicharrones chicharrones no I was able to get a lot of chicharrones from uh, from Rancho Sestero come home so that I can't wait I for summer. I, you didn't just get a little. You got. I have a whole. Got I have like a whole, whole two, bag, dude. Yeah, two bags of chicharronas. So <laughs> all those funny. guys at the football games waiting for chicharronas, which is basically just fat, but with heifer dust on it, it yeah. is delicioso. I think basically we'll eat anything at that barbecue. So <laughs> I think it's basically a free for all. Yes. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, hey, so um, so great news. Okay. So we're going to have our, our chairs, our studio chairs, um, hopefully by the end of the week. Man, I can't wait. We talked to Peter at Pass Robles Furniture, which, yeah. is a, which is a new sponsor. So, Peter, thank you. We really appreciate your, um, your support um, of us. And we are going to have new studio chairs. I think we're going to have new studio chairs, and we are going to have a whole different set so we can invite more people out and have some more fun. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's going to be cool. Yeah. So we'll be able to have two guests across the way at, at one time. Yep. So, we're, guys, we're, hey, we're rocking and rolling here. Okay, so we are very, very close to, 20, uh, to 2,900 followers on our private page. Yep. We have almost 1,500 followers on our regular page. We have um, close to, what, 1,500 on our Instagram? Somewhere around there. And we have five on our YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no, YouTube, YouTube's growing, man. It's growing. It's just, uh, you know, we like our Facebook friends, and they're really supporting us. Right yeah, now. yeah. So, so like I said, guys, invite, share, yeah, do everything, share, share, share our stuff. So that way we can. So uh, my goal, I think, was to, I have to go back to it was three thousand by the end of March. By the end of March, I, I think it was. Let's do this. I'm gonna have to go find that post. Okay. But I, I think my, I was wondering if we could do it by the end of March to have three thousand followers. So we still have a few days, guys. Um, you know. And we appreciate the ones that are following and the ones that are sharing because we see who shares and we see who likes and everything. So, the guys, thank you very, very much. Thank you. So it's super awesome. It is. Um, we and we have a lot of plan. We have a lot of big plans. We got uh, we got Ian um, Sheriff Ian Parkinson coming in tomorrow. Yes. We got with Commander um, Chad Nicholson uh-huh. with him talking about the sheriff's rodeo last year and this coming year. Um, we've got uh, we got on task. We got Donna Lou. Um, I, I'm not even sure. Is it still the cow tippers? I don't think it is. I think, I think you said it wasn't the cow tippers anymore. I, we'll find out. I'm yeah, sure. but we got we got some musicians that we were that were coming in. Um, I've reached out to a couple different uh, local uh, artists. Right. And then we have a lot of. I mean, we're getting into that era where people are starting to come into town. Um, music, uh, bands, singers, celebrities, and guys. We're gonna bring them to you. We're going to have live music, live music in studio. That's going to be, you know how much fun that's going to be? Yeah. That's going to be awesome. I mean, we're going to have, we're going to have Tim McGraw sitting right there. (laughs) You think that can happen? Oh, man. Tim McGraw is going to be sitting right there. You mark my words. Unless Mike shaves his chest and wears a black cowboy hat. No way. You think Tim McGraw is going to come here? Yes. Yes. Tim Tim McGraw is going to sit his ass right there, and I'm going to go, Yo, Tim. Yo, Tim. Yo, Tim, what'd you think of 1883? Be honest. He's going to be, this was a great interview. Thank you very much for having me. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, no. You, you, you watch. All right. You watch. I mean, we've already had the smoking armadillos on here. That was fun. Okay. Not so, only once. We've had them on yeah, a couple times. So they're, they're a local celebrity country band. Okay. Yeah. So we've had. Uh, we've Amy had Colleen. Gar- huh? Amy Colleen. We have at Amy Colleen, which is Garth Brooks's daughter. Allie Colleen. What the hell, yeah, dude? Too I, early in the morning. Allie Colleen, yeah. which is Garth Brooks's daughter. And we've had Joe and Martina. 
Joe Martina, dude. We need to have them back. They're super so, good. Um, yep. And I, I talked to Joe a couple last week, two weeks ago, and right. they're going to be back in town in June. Right. And so uh, we'll have them back on the show also. Do you ever look at their Instagram that they do? You ever, you ever watch their, you ever, you know, follow up on them and see oh, what yeah. they're doing? They look like they're having such a good time. It's crazy, man. They're doing, yeah, they they're, they're doing they're all kinds of time. stuff. Yeah. They're doing all kinds of stuff. It's pretty wild. Yeah. And like I said, to, to think that they came into our show, came into our platform is pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, so speaking of what things are happening, let's go into uh, 50 of the best TV shows of all time. 50. What, do you, what, is your, what is your most favorite TV show? Of all time? Of all time. Like if you, if you were to look back onto a TV show or think about a TV show, what was that one TV show that jumps out at you? I think uh, Married with Children. With uh, Al Bundy? Al Bundy and Peg, yeah. I think that was uh, one of my favorites uh, to watch as a kid. Because it came on right after The Simpsons, if I remember right. And The Simpsons are back, yeah, by Simpsons, the way. Yeah, but there's But some of, the, some of those TV shows, I mean, you just can't... I don't think the TV shows of today are anything near or what the TV shows of yesterday were. I think it's just because you have to be a little careful of what you say on the, on the boob tube these days. Do, do you think do you think a Archie Bunker could have got away on TV that, uh, in this day and era? Dude, really? I mean, no. Archie Bunker <laughs> or, uh, I mean, even Fred Savage. Sa Savage? No. Yeah, Fred Savage. Yeah, yes, Fred Savage. Yeah. I mean, those are two iconic. And, in, and even um, the Jeffersons. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude, the Jeffersons were funny. I mean, if you look back on all these TV shows, I mean, they're so completely flipped to what, you know, is allowed today to, on today's shows. <laughs> we, we got a couple uh, people saying, uh, Jessica says Friends, and then Jessica also says Home Improvement, which I thought was a really good show, too, as well. Tim Allen, Home Improvement. Tim Allen, yeah. Well, I think every kid in the in the 80s and 90s loved Home Improvement because of Pamela Anderson. Oh, man. So um, that was the only reason why I watched that show. So but um, so some of the TV shows that we have in the top 50, you have um, Full House, right. which I never really got into Full House. Um, you have Grey's Anatomy. Isn't that still going? Man, think, Grey's Anatomy, that's like, yeah, that's like a soap opera. Oh it's like God. one of the, it's like, a, what's the soap operas out right now still that we have? Days of on? Our Lives? Days of Our Lives or something like that, just dated and... Uh. So Grey's Anatomy premiered in 2005 and we're 2023. I mean, what more do you got to talk about? It's, okay, well, this guy got stabbed, bring him in the hospital, save his life. You know, this guy's foot got cut off, you know, do whatever you got to do here. I mean, how much more can you talk about a hospital? It's just like ongoing. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Um... So, Walking Dead, Sons of Anarchy was a pretty cool series. I don't know if I call that a TV show. I had to, I had to stop watching uh, The Walking Dead. It just got, again, that's it's the same stuff, and all of a sudden, it just it got too crazy for me. It was, you know, out of control. Out of control, people. But The Office, I think The, the Office was pretty damn funny. That was pretty funny. Um, that guy that guy's pretty hilarious. How I Met Your Mother... Modern Family. Modern fa Family is pretty funny. Yeah. That's with Al Bundy. Have yeah. you ever seen that? Uh-huh. Um, let's see. So a lot of these... Big Bang Theory was pretty pretty comical. Um, but I don't see... Breaking Bad. I don't see uh, like your traditional... I, keep, I mean, Happy Days has got to be in your top top 50. I got to ask, do, do you watch South Park at all? No, I, I, that, <sighs> that, makes, that, makes me, that makes me brain dead. Uh, it, I have to be brain dead at the end of the day after doing this kind of stuff. So I watch South Park at the very end of the night just to, you know, kind of laugh a little bit. They are, they're crazy, dude. They do some fun stuff on there. They go, they go all out. They, well, don't, they, they don't care. Yeah, they're they're definitely against the status quo. Yeah, they just do not care. I yeah, love it. Which is which is probably the only reason that I, that I would like it. But yeah. it's just most of the stuff is just so, like, it's like watching Bob's Burger. Have you ever seen Bob's Burger? I've watched it a couple times. <laughs> That's like <laughs> Bob's, Bob's Burger. Burger. I mean, the concept is pretty funny. But uh, but uh, real quick, let's go to the phone. We have Lori Bryant calling in with Slow County News. And I know she's got top of the news story right now. This is breaking news, guys. Slow County News. Go ahead, Lori. <laughs> How am I supposed to do this when you do that? Good morning. <laughs> How are you guys? We are doing Good. awesome, enjoying the sun. Okay, so there was a, just a minor fender bender. Well, uh, there was a wreck 
Union and 46 again, but it was my, it was nothing like the other night. Um, the roadways are clear. It's a little chilly this morning out there, but bright sun. Get your umbrellas ready. It's yeah, it's super bright. The sun is shining very, very bright this morning because it was. Uh, yep. Second, that yeah, the roadways look great actually. Um, it, so far, um, and again, you know, like this. When is the rain supposed to start this afternoon? So your drive home may be a little dicey, um, and we'll hope that it's not. Hopefully, the storm gets pushed back so everybody can get home safe. So I have um, I have reports of it having carrying a lot of thunder um, with this storm tomorrow. To That's what I'm hearing. I'm I'm hearing it's gonna. This one's gonna be back to Kansas. Uh oh. So we're gonna move back to Kansas, and so yeah, that's what tomorrow is supposed to be a doozy, right? Uh, is what I'm hearing. Um, but I, you know what, I never, I, I never try to project because every time I do, I I fail. So <laughs> I hope that this it could blow past if these winds and gusts come up. It, the storm could blow past, but there is a, a apparently this one is gonna be more rambunctious than the last one. Hey, um, hey, Lori. Let me ask you a question. Have, do, have we heard any more news of the 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 boy missing? I mean, is there? I have. So I, they they did bring in. So what happened was they brought in a dog team. Um, they they personally did the the members of the group, um, help finance bring in a dog team. They were making good headway. They were ma they found possible areas, um, that he may be. And unfortunately, it rained. Um, and so now they're set back um, because of the water, of course, started roaring again down there. Um, they have not found him as of this time. Mm -hmm. um, but the community has really rallied around this family. Um, it's actually beautiful. I'm in the group and it's just it's amazing how the community has pulled together um, for Kyle. Um, but unfortunately, they have not found him yet. Yes. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't give them a chance because it, it doesn't rain for a couple of days and then it pours. Um, and so they can't really, but they, the community donated, you know, uh, diggers, they committed, I mean, it's just amazing what they've done for this family. But as of right now, he has not been located. Um, and hopefully this rain doesn't pour and dump the two inches they say it could, could do. Uh, wow. um, and they can finally get some closure. Um, oh my gosh! My mother has been out there every day, every day. <laughs> it's heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah, it's almost so. it's almost numbing to where it's just like yeah. I mean it's like so. Hopefully they bring some closure and and get some. Uh, well, I mean I guess we're gonna have to wait until all the rain stop because I mean we have a lot of rain and a lot of water and it makes those kind of things difficult. Absolutely, it's just too dangerous. You know the quicksand down there, all the stuff that's down there. I mean. It, but what they do, what they're, what the community's done is just been, it's, it's, it's heartwarming how they pulled together for this family. It really is. And it's heartbreaking because I can't imagine, I, I can't even imagine. I don't think anybody um, could. I don't think anybody would, I mean, the, the heart, the heart, you know, muscle couldn't, couldn't handle, you know, much of that stuff. And, and no. this family's going through a lot of it for three months, right? Three months? Jeez. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It seems like an eternity. I, I can't. No. Yeah, they, they, it's kind of, it's, but I have to say, you know, like I've really come to admire why I live here, um, because I've watched them, the people just jump in and they just, they do fundraisers. They're, I mean, everybody's trying to help. Mm. Everybody's trying to help them. And so, you know, again, all you can do is, is pray that they haven't, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, how, uh, closure, they right. Need, the family needs closure. Oh boy! Well, like I said, our our prayers and thoughts are definitely with them and the, and the searchers, you know, for that yes. as well. So, um, and so, then that's so far. I mean, that's I I don't have anything um, drastic to report. I mean, we're gearing up for this afternoon again. Um, we hopefully, I I just hope that the rain holds off until people can get home from work. Um, but you know, you never know with this weather. It's it's. It's something else this year. <laughs> yep, it's 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 one for the record it's books. Something else. Yes. All yes, right, absolutely. Lori. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate what you do out there. You know, you and your um, your members 
and the whole villagers. team. Villagers. Village. I know, but what do you? What do you? So you got the villagers, but what about you and and the ones that are actually doing the reporting? What do we call you? We're just simply villagers. You're villagers We're just too. That care, just okay. like everybody else. <laughs> okay. I, We're all villagers. I don't think that. I mean, yes, we run the wall. And yes, we have wonderful people that run the wall, but we're all villagers. We're all part of this community, and we love this community, and we love the people in it. So, got it. We're just villagers, just like you. You're a villager. <laughs> <laughs> I am a villager. You gotta get some shirts. Eric's let's get a let's get some Eric's shirts. A villager made. and a half. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let, let's get villager shirts. I, yeah, you know what? Like, I, if we did that, we should. Everybody, you know, we have a great group. I'm telling you, if we don't catch it, they catch it, and they'll be like, "What happened on blah blah blah?" It's like, okay, now we got to do research. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. Well, right on, Lori. Yeah, well, we, we great, really appreciate it. We got a great, we got a great village here, guys. Let's keep it together and let's get through this. We have another day of rain. I'm looking at it as the wildfires are really gonna bang here. <laughs> so, and if. If you go out there, everybody that lives out there is telling me, do not get off the pavement because the mud is terrible out there. So, so just, just be smart. go sightsee, just sightsee, turn around and come back. <laughs> yeah, just be smart. Use your common sense. Right, yeah. Awesome. Yep. All right, Lori. All right, you have a wonderful day, you guys. Be safe. And uh, Eric, I'm, I'm, loving, I'm loving seeing you on the camera. I got to say it. There you go. Ah. <laughs> All right. All right, Lori. Th hey, thanks, Lori. Thank you so much. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Lori Bryant, Slow County News. Hey, so she's talking about the uh, the flowers. I guess people are really getting crazy out there. I guess people are, like, out there trying to get their best picture they can, but they're tromping all over the flowers. The wildflowers? A lot of people are getting pissed. I know. People are just like, get off the flowers! Yeah, people people take flowers pretty dang seriously. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's 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 a serious business, so you want to make sure that you don't stomp stomp on the flowers. Yeah, you but know, the cows are out there doing it all day long. So yeah, the 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 cow well the cows don't touch the flowers. They know they know to stay away from them. Oh, they do. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, they yeah they had a big meeting. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they had a big meeting. All right, so let's uh, let's go into some other stuff. What else do we got? Uh, let's see here. We got uh, something coming up this this year. Uh, this month, next month, uh, April 27th, is the Vintage Sidecar and Recycled Treasure Show. This looks like fun. Yeah. So collectors, dealers, crafters, and garden enthusiasts are invited to participate in the Recycled Treasures portions of Paso Robles Downtown Main Street Association Vintage Sidecar. Recycled Treasures, Vintage Motorcycles, Electric Cars um, on Saturday, April 22nd in downtown City Park from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Applications are available at the Pass Rolls Main Street office. Um, uh, date, you can find that. Uh, or the website, passrollsdowntown.org. So how cool is that? That's pretty cool, man. I, uh, I want to go see that. Would you ride in a sidecar? Hell yeah. Hey, we sh you know what? There's a business out here that, uh, a company out here, I should say, that um, rent, you, could, you could ride in a sidecar and go to wineries, breweries, and all that. Like they carry, they, they take you and you're in the they, sidecar they or you drive, you, you're riding it? I, you, they take you in the sidecar. They have a bunch of them, I think. And you can just kind of cruise around and, and uh, go to all the fun places in Paso, Tascadero, and North County. How about, why don't we take, we can go in the helicopter. You want to go wine tasting in a helicopter? I, I mean, I do, but you don't. I know. You will not get in a helicopter. And I think that's BS, because I think that's one of the most funnest things to do ever, ever. Well, well, what we could do is we could put the helicopter on a trailer and just sit in the helicopter. <laughs> that's like how they film commercials. Like you're on a dirt bike or on a bike, but you're really on a trailer and the wind's going through your hair kind of thing. And yeah. You, want to feel, you just want to feel it. Yeah, but we could, we could fly to a couple of different wineries. We can go over to Harris Beef Palace, you know. With the helicopter, we could do all that stuff. Look at look at me just talking about that, and I'm not going to do it. So here's what we could do. I could go <laughs> up and film, and like I could get a cardboard cutout of you, and I could just be like, yeah, Randy, we're having such a great time. Woo! Yeah, there you and go. And then we land, and then you <laughs> pop in the helicopter. Go, wow, that was amazing. Yeah, or I jump out. I jump out. And then, <laughs> then I get back off the ground. I like it. Let's do that. All right. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to fly around and go to wineries in the helicopter. Hey, I want to I say Keith is one of those drivers for the mo motorcycles, is he not? Keith who? Keith. Softball what? Keith. Kennedy Keith. What? 
Yeah, I, I thought he said something about he's a dry. He drives or something. I don't know. No, I could be wrong. I, you know, I drink a lot, so I, I could be definitely wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I I know he does. He does his um, security of events. We'll have to ask him. But um, speaking of Keith, driving around that, that would be news to me. Keith, man, so gotta get him back in with the softball players. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna like I said. I mean, that's so the the Eagles Nest, which is cool. Yeah. So we're gonna get um, Lauren in here, pastoral or the Templeton basketball. Um, we'll get Jr. in here with the Templeton baseball. We'll get Keith back in here. We got Coach Crow coming in today. Today uh, for the Templeton football. Um, a lot of stuff happening, and um, you know, in sports, and so we just need to get some sun out there so that way these guys can play. These so, outdoor sports are, are probably dying. Coach Crow's coming in today at ten. At ten o'clock yep, today. Yep. Coach Crow, ten fifteen. Okay. Coach Crow will be in at ten fifteen, talking about their Idaho trip. Yes. Talking about they have their new um, their store is open for the kids to buy their uh, you know their gear, their undershirts, their pants, stuff like that, and um, they also just posted their new weight room. Uh, record board. Saw that. So um, that's got a lot of uh, a lot of the old boys bummed because they didn't have they didn't have that when they were there. I, I saw no. I saw somebody post said that. Where's my record? You know, I, where's my you know? I had six hundred and eighty pounds, and when I was in high school, uh, <laughs> yeah, like it was like nineteen thirty two or something like that. 19, <laughs> yeah, well, back in the day. So. Um, but uh, some other some other news in the coming to Vina Robles is the Beach Boys. Uh oh. Have you ever seen the Beach Boys in concert? No. I haven't seen the Beach Boys either. But I mean, they've got to be what a hundred. Dude, this is gonna be. I'm kind of worried for them. They are. So July fifth at seven thirty seven thirty p.m. Um, the Beach Boys will take the stage at Vina Robles Amphitheater in Pass Robles. So obviously they have iconic songs. They have, you know, every, I mean, if you don't know who the Beach Boys are, then you obviously are um, young. Then you're young. Yes, you are young. <laughs> but I mean, they've young. got they've got to be in their late. They're old. They are old. They're old. Dude. I mean, there's just nothing. <laughs> Do you think they're lip syncing? No, I think they're probably singing. I mean, I. That's a that's a that's got to be one. I mean, that, look it. If you're that old and you're still out there rocking it, you know, cheers, man. Good for you. I, I think that's great. And you're still. I don't even know if all the guys are still alive. If they're all, you know, same group or whatnot members. So they're they're unrelated live concert recorded at Carnegie Carnegie Hall on Thanksgiving, 1972. Yeah. 1972. I mean, that is... Maybe, a, maybe we could get you to announce the concert at Vina Robles. You can go up there, all right, everybody, the Beach Boys! I'd be afraid And they come that, out like, ah, all right, okay, let's go. All right. Well, anyways, I mean, I hope they keep rocking because, like I said, the Beach Boys are badass. I think that's great. And I think there's a lot of... There's been a lot of spinoffs and a lot of artists that's kind of spin from the Beach Boys and their music, so... Um, I don't even know what the Vina Robles is, um, all their, their concerts that they have planned. So They said they haven't posted, though, right? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll definitely go and, and report on that, too. Okay. So have you ever been to Vina Robles? They have a pretty cool amphitheater. Yeah, I've been there a couple times. I think the, the, everything is, is pretty um, welcoming. There's not a really a bad seat. And what I liked about it was the, the security and the, and, the, and the staff there. There were so many people there. Or so many of the of the members and security and stuff like that. So that way, people that were there to have a good time, they were having a good time. They didn't have to worry about people being idiots. Yeah, well, I'm, so, a, I'm an idiot, so I got to be. No, right. you're definitely you're definitely on the idiot. Side. I got to be kind of careful when I'm there. Hey, last time I was there, guess what I did? You'll never you'll never guess what I did last time I was there. Um, you streaked down the middle. Not the last time. This, oh, that was before that? It might have been. But What'd you la do? Last time I was there, we left the concert, <clears throat> and there was a king snake dude on the sidewalk just laying oh. out straight, like a four-foot-long king snake. And I was like, oh, man, people kept walking over it and, like, wouldn't move. So I went and picked it up, and like, uh. I was like, oh, I got to get rid of this thing. And I <laughs> kind of shoveled it off to the side. People were freaking out. They're like, what the hell are you doing? Well, I'm yeah, saving the snake, man. Saving yeah, that snake. Nobody, nobody likes snakes. I, I picked them up. Nobody likes right. snakes except for the the rattlesnake wrangler that 
came on the show. Which... Although I, I was drinking, and it could have been a rattlesnake. It could have got bit and been on the local news, I guess. Well, speaking of snakes, the, the we have a report on the world's most poisonous animals. I don't know if I have that. Okay. We this, don't have that one? This may be surprising. Let's see. I thought, I thought we had oh, that. I got it. Here it is. Okay, oh, we have God. it. For one, who would be the one that would do that? I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to even get near that thing. I mean, these people are are completely psycho. I mean, I would. Oh my god! So the world's most poisonous animals. So we have the golden dart frog as being the most poisonous amphibi amphibian in the world. Is the golden fart dart frog? Fart frog. <laughs> the, the, the golden dart frog, ah. com commonly found in the Western Col Columbia rainforest. Okay. Wow. So stay away from the dart frog. Fart frogs. Okay. We have Brazilian wandering spiders. Oh, I hate spiders. Okay, so let's stay away from them. Um, we have Thailand, Ta Tapan. I'm not sure what that is. Tapan. Tapan. Oh, it's a snake. Tapan. Oh, gosh. So the snake is so powerful that the chemicals contained in one bite from it are enough to kill a hundred adult humans. Wow. Can that's, you? That's gnarly. Oh, my God. And it's a snake. I mean, why did God make snakes? There's literally nothing on the planet that in the ecosystem or anything that says, oh, let's have snakes. Yeah. Well, they need to eat the mice. Well, I would rather have mice than snakes. Than have more cats. Yeah. Okay. The stonefish. Stonefish? The stoned fish. Okay. So there's stone. There's fish out there getting stoned, guys. <laughs> so the stonefish has a remar unremarkable appearance. Okay. It's often mistaken for a piece of a rock. Oh, great. Wow. This is... So it's in the ocean. So good thing I don't go to the ocean. I don't go inside of it anyways. Yeah. Um, and Maricopa harvester ant. Wow. An ant. Yes. That would suck. You're like, you know, just sitting there and all of a sudden you get you get bit, like, and then you're dead or is it? There are a number of highly venomous insects, but the Maricopa harvester ant is the most deadly of them all. Right. Its bite is more dangerous than that of a honeybee. Huh. Interesting. But is the honeybee really dangerous? Uh, to me, it is. I'm I'm allergic. I guess if you're allergic, yeah. I got I got stung when I was in Africa and in the middle of freaking Namibia, and uh, yeah, I thought I was gonna die. My face swelled up. They took me to some little janky little hospital in a in a you know like a little village, and they pulled out this giant syringe and said, "We got to give you this shot." And I'm like, "Hell no!" So yeah, I could die. It's not good. True story, by the way. Oh my god. True story. Um, also, when I was at Wildfields, uh, I was up there getting uh, my beers, and uh, there was a woman that said that she's at that brewery because her dog is the Atascadero, Atascadero Vet, whatever that place, animal hospital is. Okay. She said her dog got bit by a rattlesnake that day. Can you believe uh, that already? Yeah. I, I, and I kind of looked at her and said, oh, okay, maybe. Well, I mean, so that's what the lady that was here um a couple months ago regarding the snakes. I mean, we're going to have a wicked amount of snake population starting now through next year. Right. So, so I'm probably I'm terrified. So snakes are in water. You have high levels of of uh, fluid in the in the water in the lakes. Yes. And so when those snakes wake up and come out of hibernation, well, guess what they're in? Uh, they're in water. They're in kill mode. Yeah, and so and they're fast. Have you ever seen a snake go across the lake? Yeah, they're pretty good. Oh my god, I'm, I'm Nasi's yeah. gonna be full of them. You know that, right? Nasi yeah. Menno's just gonna have snakes everywhere because people are gonna come in. They're gonna come in from their trailers, and and they're all gonna go into the freaking. <laughs> they're all gonna go into the uh, into the water because they'd be afraid of people like us wanting to go camp there. Yeah, so we gotta we gotta make sure that you guys, uh, especially the dogs. I mean, I wouldn't know what to do if my dogs got bit by a snake. I don't even think the dogs have seen a snake before. Well, I can tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna probably shovel out like two grand for the first shot, and then maybe like another fifteen grand for each and every other shot that that dog will need. That's yeah. expensive. It's not cheap. Yeah, they just might get your dogs trained. Yeah, there's actually did you, there's a that's what she was saying. She yeah. said that they do that. They train your dogs not to touch. Or, you know, sniff at a rattlesnake. Correct, yeah. And again, you're, you have to have a rattlesnake in order to to teach these animals. 
And remember, what was the snakes called? Like Frank. What was? Yeah, Ben. Fred, ben. No, Frank. Ben was the horse. Oh yeah. But I think, but they have a, they have a, their resident rattlesnake. They have a nice rattlesnake, is what she said. I'm like, oh no, we're good. And they haven't taken his his fangs out. I mean, he just cru- and he just cruises around. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I, I think I'm good too. I don't think it's a really good. Um, it, it's a really good idea just to let a rattlesnake out and just hanging out and be like, "Hey, no, he's friendly." No, BS. Well, I, I think we probably should go do one of those classes that she does and just be an observer, like on top of the table, and just watch. You know how they, you know how they wrangle snakes. With steel-clad boots and pants on? Absolutely. Yeah, right? I'm on it. <laughs> All right, what time we got? We got... Uh, 8.20. We got to get out of here, man. We got to get out of here. Yep. And we had a lot of fun again. And so... But guys, so Eric, we will see you tomorrow. We got Coach Crow coming on today at 10.15. Yes. And we have a lot of cool stuff coming out on our on our page. So look for it. We have a new phone number coming out today. Look for it. And we're going to be giving away some stuff as we promised that we would. Let's talk about that just a little bit. Yeah. What do we got to give away? Look in camera one and tell everybody what we got. We are giving away a one-month membership to Kennedy Club Fitness along with the Kennedy Club K-Zone. Yes. So the K-Zone, if you haven't been following our page, um, Mike and Eric are are, uh, frequent flyers of the K-Zone in the infrared sauna so we have a 30-day membership to both of those that we're going to be giving away once we get our phone number posted so then that way you guys can all text in the word kennedy to the new what's up north county text line and we have hats what's up north county new hats yep. right and we got the shirts too as well so they'll be posted up we there have as well. hats shirts and we are working on a special flavor of wine are we really? I don't know. I figure you'd be doing that. Oh, tomorrow we got. I, I found non-alcoholic hard alcohol for you, so we got to talk about that tomorrow. So because I know, yes, I know that's what you want. So we'll talk yes. about that tomorrow. Okay. Yes. All, All right. right. Cool. Get us the heck out of here. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to What's Up North County Morning Brew. And guys, as always, we can't do this without you and our sponsors. We have Escalar Wines, Wine Travelers Hideaway, Rancho Cestero Meat Cutting, Visit a Tascadero, Eight Hundred Five Customs. El Red Rooster, Kennedy Club Fitness, Amy and Jamie's Place, Airflow Fil- Filter Services, Pacific 805 Spas, and now Paso Robles Furniture, guys. Thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow. Three, two, one.